We're, there are three ways of graphing uh, linear equations. Today we're going to talk about the first method. And uh, it says here the method is called graphing a linear equation using a table of values. Uh, when you're given an equation of a line, you can create a table of values and then use those values to graph a, the line on a, on a grid. So here we are, there's five steps, and it's pretty straightforward. We're just going to go through these quickly and then do a couple examples and leave it at that. First of all, we need to draw a table. So we get we draw a table and put an X, Y on the top of each is headings for each column. There's two, two columns in the table. And then what we're going to do is we're going to choose some X values. We can choose randomly any X values. And uh, so I like to choose really easy numbers like 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. Just really easy numbers. Why well, use chart uh, hard ones if you don't need to? And then what we do is we put those in the table. And then what we do is we substitute each of those X numbers into the equation and calculate what the y is that corresponds to each of those x values we put in there. And finally, we plot the, the pairs of numbers we get for x and y and, and on the graph, and then draw a straight line through those points and see what it looks like. So let's just do that with this first example. So we've got our table already drawn for us here. And uh, so let's just put some x's and y's in there. So let's see, first of all, the x's. So 2, 1, 0, let's just put five numbers down. And I'm going to substitute these one at a time. So I'm going to put 2, so the y equals 3 times 2, put 2 in for the x, and then I subtract, so I'm going to triple it and subtract 2. So 3 times 2 is 6, minus 2 is 4. So the y value of that is 4. Now I put in the next one, put 1 in there. 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 2 is 1. Put 0 in there. I put 0 in there. 3 times 0 is 0. Minus 2 is negative 2. I'm not going to do all the, uh, write all the things down. You can do that yourself if you like. Put negative 1 in there. Now, if I did that with negative 1, it looks like this. I got 3 times negative 1 minus 2. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Okay, so we got here negative 3 minus 2 more. That gives us negative 5. And the last one, put negative 2 in there. We get negative th 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 minus 2 more is negative 8. So those are our, our points we've done. We finished step 3. That's the hardest part of step 3. We draw the table of values. We chose some x's. We substituted and calculated the y's. Now we're going to do step 4 and plot those points in the graphs. Let's plot those. So 2, 4. So the x is 2 over to, to the right uh, 2 and up 4. And gives me that one, one point. 1, 1. So right 1, up 1. There we go. 0, negative 2. So 0 don't go left or right. I just go down 2 here. The y is negative 2. x is negative 1. I go to the 1 to the left now because it's negative. And I go down 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. And last one is negative 2 down 8, right at the bottom there, corner edge there. There we go. Okay, so that's four steps. The last step, we're going to draw a line through that. And let's see how we can do that with our little graphing tool here. Let's try to get this here. Let's try this. Okay. I like to draw it right across the whole graph much as, as best we can. There we go, something like that. There, and there's our line. We've graphed the uh, equation y equals 3x minus 2. That's what it looks like. It keeps going uh, both directions continuously to infinity, and it's a straight line. Okay, let's just graph one more. Make sure we got the process down. Again, we've already done that first step and drawn the, the table here, x and y at the top. Now I'm going to put in some numbers. So let's put some numbers in again. Let's just choose some easy ones. 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2. And I'm going to substitute those in for this equa in the equation now. Negative 2 times 2 minus 1, which gives me negative times 2 is negative 4. It's negative 4 minus 1 more is negative 5. First one's negative 5, 2, negative 5. Well, I can plot that right away if I want. 2, so over 2, 
one, two, three, four, five down. There's our first point right there. Okay, let's do the next one. Plug one in there. One times negative two is negative two minus one more is negative three. So one down three. There's our next point. Let's do zero. Put zero and there's an easy one. Zero and a half gives me zero. Zero minus one is negative one. And so zero, negative one is right there. Negative one stuck in there, negative one. So negative in this case here, y equals negative two times negative one minus one more. What's that gonna be? It's gonna be negative times a negative is a positive two. Minus one. It's gonna give me positive one. Two minus one is one. And the last one, negative two, negative two times negative two is positive four minus one is positive three. So let's do those last two points now. So negative one, go to the left one and up one. Left two, up three. Oop, I made a mistake in that one, didn't I? I went over three and up three. Let's do that again. Over two, up three. There we go. That's better. Okay, we've got those points here. Last thing we need to do now is put a line through those things, those points. So let's do this draw. And I'm going to uh, get my drawing tool out here. Hopefully I can kind of line this up. And uh, let's kind of get this. Oop, what happened there? I made a mistake. Let's just delete that. Quickly delete that. Delete that. Okay, there we go. Draw. Do that one more time. Okay, let's try this again. Bring it up here through the points. Uh, I'm a little off. Okay, something like that. Well, I've almost got through the points. You get the idea, though. Just drawing a straight line through the points as best you can. It's easier with a ruler. I'm using a drawing tool here. But um, that's how you graph a line. Uh, Given an equation and making a data table, table of values.